Before going to the truth discussion or jam, whatever it may be, be, be ready with the current affairs, general topics. Okay? It's always current affairs in group discussion, always. Or, or general topics. Abstract it can be also. Abstract can be cell phones, Google Pay, what is happening to the society, uh, whatever it may be. So, if it is abstract, then it is abstract. If they ask you to talk about cell phones and all, but I'm first year. Yes, see. <laughs> so, and then, if it's a group discussion, first point, take an initiative. Second thing, start listening to everybody, start observing everybody, have an eye contact with everybody. When you make an eye contact with the panelists and the members, it shows the department Make them eye to eye contact. That look of yours gives you confidence. Am I not confident now when speaking to you? I'm looking at everybody here. Don't you think that confident? Anybody feels that nervous? No. That is how it is. When you give an eye contact with everybody, it shows you confidence. You can speak to anybody. Okay? And then, listen to everybody like I told. When listening to everybody, we could zero knowledge on a topic you don't know anything absolutely about the topic, you can at least catch some points from the deal, from the discussion happening there. After the second person speaks, third person speaks, automatically you are just on the jury Gurinchi. What is the topic then? Then you can at least put one point there. Okay? After one point, when is the third Now what you can do is, that you can always make notes in jury. It is a rule. You know about it? When, you, when a group discussion is happening, you can always carry it and when you can make a note of it. So, what you can do if you don't know anything about the topic, you can conclude the discussion. After everybody speaks, you can at least tell them whatever everybody spoke. Even if you are concluding the discussion also, you will get more remarks for them. Because you spoke about what everybody spoke. That shows your listening skills. Correct? Yes. Oh, done. And then, body language and gestures are very, very important. For example, a group discussion is happening about cell phones. For example, um, and then you go there and speak. Cell phones are uh, very, very ridiculous. You speak like this, will you give you marks? Oh. Cell phones are very, very, um, whatever, whatever it may be. You speak like this. How is it? Does it make a difference? A lot? Yes. Yeah. So, body language and gestures add a lot, lot, and a lot. Okay? So, speak like this. Make gestures. Show your body language. Okay? You can speak half of your, half of your, whatever is your intention through your body language. Okay? And then, yeah. So, this is the employer's wish list, like what I told you. They check for these more rather than, like I told you, there are columns below. These are the more columns more than what your academics are. They check these points more. Okay? Well, this is about the body language, you know, leaning forward when, when, when you're in an interview. When you're leaning forward to the table, it makes you more interested. It means you good. Leaning is not totally leaning on the table. Leaning properly. Okay? And then smiling is being friendly, nodding is being attentive and alert, not when you're speaking. Say, say everything what I mean to say is. Okay? And then eye contact, like I told you, it's being focused and curious. Negative, cross downs. You should never think like this. Correct? Like you meet your old grandma, sits like this. You should never sit like that. You should always sit erect. And then fidgeting hands on tap feet. You should never do this. Or below. Do that, no? Yes? No, not, not maybe you, but the few of them. So, no eye contact means you are untrustworthy. 
Let me tell you, let me give you small, small examples in your life also you may think if you are being true to yourself and if you are being totally loyal, you speak very daringly. We don't give eye contact. Give an example with your day to day lives. Got it? And that is the interview panelist psychology. He is, he is obviously helped so many people, he giving talks to so many people. So obviously he will be knowing who does what. That is the psychology. So when you give eye contact, that means you are being trusted. Got it? Eye contact and eye contact is the story. It is also with the confidence levels what you have. Okay? Then. A, B, C of an interview. It is always beware of crash and burn. That means he might shoot you any kind of questions, any kind of questions. You, you have to be ready with whatever he asks. Whatever it may be the question. Yeah, so after the interview, you can almost follow up with them. You can ask questions which invite only a positive response. For example, girls can ask, is camp facility available? Such kind of questions you can ask. You can ask, the ask sir, the doctor's not. You should not ask such kind of questions. And thank the interviewer and email if possible. That always shows your gratitude. You can always be grateful to them. So at least allow me to come to the interview. And then, never slam the door while coming out. The main problem with all the Indians, they put it, they open the door like this and block the door like that. Never, never do that. They should say discipline. Okay? Next. Okay. Yeah. And one more thing, very important thing, in a group discussion or jam, like I told you, they check only your confidence skills. So, little, little bit of storytelling is okay. You can add up little stories, it's okay. Okay? Or to give a positive, positive response to them, you can, you can add up storytelling. Storytelling is absolutely fine. Okay? Because they want to have speak and they want to change your communication skills. But then, little bit of storytelling is absolutely fine. Other than the question of my yo or I'm feel or not. It's okay. Little, little bit of storytelling is fine. And, these are the 10 best tips for interviews. What is it? Practice good non-verbal communication. Be, be perfect with it. Dress perfectly, listen carefully, don't talk too much, don't be too familiar. Hi, sir, what's up? <laughs> that won't, that won't go, that won't work. You always need to give that thing. Use appropriate language. Don't be cocky, that means don't boost about yourself. Don't talk too much about your husband. Don't irritate them. That means that. Don't irritate them with a question. Be very good. Okay? And take care to answer all the questions. Don't appear desperate and stay confident and keep smiling. Smile. Good. Yeah. So, well, uh, this is about it. So, what I would like to tell you was the main thing, the main, 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 main point for interviews is be very, very confident with yourself. Keep smiling and I will give you everything. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, uh, I, I have one extra to put you to put thumbs up and Okay, so that is my number.
can always call me for any kind of doubts or any kind of problems you have. I'll always be available. And let me tell you, you must be so grateful for this man. He's come all the way from US. He's so busy. He's come to set up his business and uh, he's working on it. And I'm so good about that. He's giving the even time for us in two months of peace now.